So guys, it's September 30th, uh, it's 12.30. Uh, we just got set up. Uh, yesterday, there was some rain came in in the morning, and uh, I just decided I haven't had a picture of ghosts to buck up in that for the last couple of years. I haven't had a picture of them in over a month. So I decided to, to stay out of the woods. Uh, he came in yesterday at 6, six in the evening. So uh, we got the stand set up. Uh, we're ready to go. We're hoping he, he'll make a mistake and walk daylight two days in a row. I've had a, a history with this buck for the last four years. Four years ago, he was a Baskerac 9 point, and his G2 is literally laid back. And he's been like that since he was a, a little 9 point four years ago. And every year, I just continue to watch him uh, get bigger and bigger, and pound in the minerals. I mean, he's had a special these last two years. And, uh, I mean, he's definitely going to be the biggest buck in my life if I can get this done. So. I just smoked ghost, I just smoked him. Oh my goodness, he, he, just, he just came out of nowhere. A nice young eight point we had came in. I was just praying ghost was coming. I was kept praying, praying, praying. Boom, he popped up in the top up here and worked his way down. He stayed in the thick stuff for a while. I couldn't get a shot at him, but uh, I'm pretty sure I just smoked him. It went through him so fast, it kind of, I think, almost looked like I missed him, but uh, I, heard him, I heard him crash just right over the hill, so. Just, oh man, what an evening, what an evening. So Trey's at a softball game. I, I skipped a softball game today because I just had a great feeling he was going to be in here. Um, I'm going to wait. I'm going to call Trey and, and get him here. And... All right, guys, it's 8.13. Um, we had a big cold front come in, and uh, Greg has been chasing this deer for pretty much the last two years. And last night, after four weeks of no pictures of him or anything, he showed up last night on that cold front. Uh, I called Greg and said, you need to get in there. Greg told me that he didn't have a stand yet. So at my lunch on work, I uh, ran over there and I told him, hey, bud, listen, I'll hang the stand. I'll carry everything up for you. I don't want you getting sweaty. I'll hang the stand. And... Uh, Whenever I hang it, you climb up in that tree and, and set for the rest of the evening. And uh, that deer is going to move tonight. And I, I was confident in that. And I told him just to be ready. And by God, he texted. Uh, we had softball game tonight. And uh, he texted me and he goes, dude, I smoked him. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we got a big rack to show you guys here at the end of this. But we'll see what happens.